everyone welcome 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 back to my channel once again so I want to get this video started very very quickly this is a holiday stushy look this is the last week this is look number three and this is a completely different look from the other two this is a dark more you know renegade holiday stushy vibe and i hope you guys enjoy it stay tuned i tried to make this video very quick so i'm getting straight to the point so don't forget to like and subscribe this channel if you like what you're seeing there's a button somewhere down below you can click that button it'll automatically subscribe you and also check out my instagram to see photos of this look see y'all okay so i am going to create my do my transition color with the color saddle from Mac and this is it right here and that's going to be my transition color so for this look I'm going to mainly use colors from the ABH palette modern renaissance palette um, this will be the final Stushy Holiday look, and I want it to be more of a crimson red, Venetian red type of look. Um, trying to keep it very simple. So with the same brush, I'm gonna go in with the color Red Ochre from the ABH palette. This color right here. We came from nothing or something, nigga. Hey. I don't try nobody with the trigger. But call up the gang and they come and get you. Grab me a river, give you a tissue. Bad and loose. Cooking up that with a ooze. The goal is to create a slight, uh, like a halo type of look. So I'm going to keep adding colors around the center of my eye. And I'm going to go deeper and darker. And then I'm going to add that pop of red. And hopefully it comes out right the way I want it to be. So I pretty much add the color to the outer and inner edge of my eye. And I keep doing this till about two to three times until I'm satisfied with the amount of color on my lid. Now I'm going to go in with the color Venetian Red. And I'm going to do the same procedure process. Like I'm a freaking surgeon. The same process again. This color right here. So the last color I'm gonna go in from this palette in with is the color love letter right here. Doing the same thing. I won't lie to you. I know then I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and this I'm gonna use the Morphe. Okay, there's no number on it, but this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna use that to blend out this area right here. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the color from the Morphe palette, um, and it's this color right here. Oops, right there. This color right here. It's not like a really bright red, but it's a, it's a red. I'm gonna actually go in with another color too, this one right here. And see if I can get a brighter red. I don't seem to have a really bright red. It's pissing me off. Okay, so what I ended up doing was I took the last color and I just applied it to the center of my eye because that's as red as I can find in what I own, which is kind of crazy. But now we're gonna move on to the part where we have put some glitter. You know, no look, no eye look is complete without glitter. So the glitter I'm using is, um, it's called The Glitter Lips. I actually bought this from a um, hair show and it's for the lips, but I'm going to be using it on my eyes. Okay, 
okay so now that we have this glitter applied now I want to add some more of that orangey color that I used originally that orangey red and I just want to use that to define around the halo just a little bit even though I went a little bit past the halo in the front that's what I want to do so I'm going to use a small fluffy brush to do that So now I'm going to actually do a little dramatic wing and I'm hoping to God it doesn't fuck up. Okay, so let's see what happens. Okay, so now that my lashes are on, my eyes are complete for now. I'm gonna finish off the rest of my face and I'll be back. All right, so now I have my face prepped and ready to go, and we're gonna do the bottom of my eyes. Um, I'm gonna actually, I'm trying to figure out how I wanna do the bottom of my eyes, but I think I'm gonna go in with just one color from the ABH palette, which is the love letter right here that color so I'm gonna go in and just kind of like do a light dusting underneath my eyes with that color but I want to go with a bright color I'm thinking either green or yellow for the bottom So on top of that color, in my waterline, I'm gonna line it with this green from the Morphe palette. This one right here. If it's not bright enough, then I'm gonna go in with this green after. If it's not bright enough. Raindrop, drop top, drop top, smoking no cooking the hot box. Fucking on your bitch here, that, that, that. All right, I think that's good enough. So for blush, I'm going to be using the MAC Breezy Sheer Tone Shimmer Blush. And this is it right here. I usually don't go with a strong blush, but this is holiday time. So we have to, we have to be seen. And for highlight, we're gonna actually use the Artist Couture. What is this? Um, Diamond Glow Powder. Ooh, it's very hard to see this, but this is the color. And on top of that, I'm actually gonna put some glow first for it to stick to. So I'm gonna use some Tem2 um, Liquid Glow first. And this is gonna be very poppin'. Highlight or pop in, honey. No, I won't show love. Love was handy for somebody like me. Come on now, follow my lead. Say, boy, let's not talk too much. Have on my waist and put that body on me. Come on now, follow my lead. Okay, so in case you guys was wondering what happened, that temp to thing, okay, was removing my damn makeup. So I had to scratch that. So I had to go back in with my Laura Mercier um, Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder. This is what it looks like, which is a life saver. And um, basically I reapplied this on top of the highlight, which is what I'm gonna do right now. It's a very, very subtle glow, 
very, very subtle. But I'm basically gonna do this and put my Artist Couture on top with this brush, because I ain't got time. I ain't got time for games. I don't have time for something to take forever right now. We need it to be strong in the beginning. And I love this brush because it blends it out just right. Do not leave the highlighter sitting on your face. Mm -hmm, honey. Glowing like a Christmas tree. I think we're glowed up enough. Just add a teensy bit to my eye underneath my brow bone. Did I say a teensy bit? To complete this look, I am going to go with a dark lip. I know naturally when you have a dark eye or you have a lot going on on the eye, you want to go with like a nude lip, but no. This is a holiday stushy look. So we are going with a dark lip and I'm going to be using the Vamplify from MAC. This color right here. And I'm also going to be using the um, Be Spoken For Lip Liner from MAC as well. All right, guys, so this is the completed look. And it came out even better than I even better than I anticipated. So this is my version of a vampy holiday stushy look. Not even vampy, I'm gonna say more like a dark holiday. Not your typical, you know, reds and greens and you know princessy colors. Um I wanted to end this stushy holiday series with a completely different look and i hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to like and subscribe <laughs>